Welcome back to Modern Homestead Alaska. I have several first of things that I purchased from Azure that I wanted to share with you in this month's Azure haul. Won't you join me today? Welcome to Modern Homestead Alaska. We are Erin and Jessica Milnes. We are building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska with the help of three of our children. Our second son, Caleb, our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt, along with our three dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and the newest addition, Roberto. I'm actually starting my Azure haul the night before. The reason is I have the freeze dryer pre-freezing, and I'm gonna show you what I got frozen first and then the rest of the haul. So I have my trays down here, and instead of finding space in the freezer, I'm gonna freeze dry a bunch of the frozen stuff. Here in Alaska, we only get frozen from Azure every other month. And then I wanted to start freeze drying some really fresh, organic, good, picked at the peak of freshness, um, fruits, vegetables, those sort of things. I wanted to start freeze drying them so that we can take them along for our hunting, fishing, camping, all of the things we have planned this summer and fall. So a little freeze dryer and a little Azure order today. So let's get to it on what's going to pop in our freeze dryer first. Frozen blackberries. Frozen bananas. We're gonna do the dark cherries next. We're gonna try cranberries. Last one tonight, raspberries. Oops. Okay, the freeze dryer's been going 19 minutes or so. Loaded the trailers into the freezer close this drain valve over here and push continue freezing Welcome to modern homestead alaska we are aaron and jessica milnes we are building a modern homestead outside of wasilla alaska with the help of three of our children our second son caleb our daughter cody ann and the youngest of our family Wyatt, along with our three dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and the newest addition, Roberto. Okay, so I did get several things in the freezer, and then I want to talk a little bit more about freezer things from Azure, and then show you the rest of what we got in just a second. But let's talk fresh produce. I got a bunch of fresh produce this time. Now I've ordered several of these things before. I've ordered the pears, I've gotten potatoes from them and so on. This time I was trying a little more to do um, a two week or a month long, what could I get from Azure that would alleviate or make it to where I didn't have to go all the way to Costco for these things. And then the other thing is trying to preserve some of these things that were growing in the garden. I thought I would go ahead and get a hold of some things that we are growing so that we can decide how we want to prep and process when the garden is ready. And then the rest of it is obviously just fresh eating. So we'll start right back here in the back. I have a 20 pound box of fresh pear. Um, they 
are not overripe. They're, in fact, they're a little underripe. So these are gonna be wonderful. I have a couple of pears left over from the last time I went shopping. And so we'll eat those. And then in a couple of days, these will be ripe. That is one of the good parts about Azure is a lot of the things come maybe just a little under right because it is being shipped. Let's move on around the table. Okay, moving over here, we have some yellow onion and some red onion. These are not in the big quantities I normally get. However, I am trying to switch over a little bit. I have the opportunity where I can pick up Azure orders twice a month. Most people can only pick them up once and so I could maybe spread it out and do smaller quantities of things. So we did onions, we did potatoes. So we have red potatoes. I have two bags of the golden potatoes. We do have all of our potatoes uh, planted in the garden. They're doing excellent. Um, I'm happy to report. Something that doesn't grow very well up here in Alaska, but I still like is yams or sweet potatoes. So we went ahead and did some of those. All right, right here in front of you is something. So this is an organic kale and it came looking like this and I don't know, just being honest, that I would order the kale again. Um, it's not a beautiful shipper. Um, so there's not a whole lot of green left in it. I'm, I, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but um, the kale didn't ship well. However, the baby spinach shipped great. The romaine lettuce was so sticking kind of to some of the lettuces so we could have salad and different things. That shipped great. We have some two packs of the two pounds of fresh organic broccoli. These are the broccoli heads. Let's move on down here. Okay, right straight in front of you, we have two and a half pounds of the tomatoes. They do look beautiful. Straight in front of me here, we have the carrots. I have five pounds of carrots. I have three heads of celery. I grew a ton of celery in the garden, so we eat a lot of it. I wanted to try and freeze dry a little bit of it, see how that does, see if I like celery freeze dried. What are we gonna do with all this celery so I can use it throughout the year? Um, we did green peppers. They have kind of some mold on them, so live and learn a little bit of shipping these good organic things here to Alaska. Doesn't always go as planned but I may be able to salvage some. We'll get those washed up and see. And then we have the red peppers. When we're talking about things that just didn't ship well, like the kale, that is one of the best parts about Azure is you can let them know and they will credit your account back for these things that you know molded or didn't ship well or whatever the case is. And so that is one of the reasons if you live like we do that I would highly recommend using Azure is they just stand behind their products so well. We did some of the mini baby bells for Aaron. These are one of his favorite snacks. The kids like it as well. They put some cream cheese in there with some everything but the bagel seasoning. Sorry about that. We are a full family. Caleb's leaving for work. And so he's in and out of the video. So say hi to him. Um, so we do have a couple of cabbages here. Cabbages hold up really well. We eat a lot of those. Bye, buddy. And then we have the sugar snap peas. These are for Aaron. There's, they're a snack. I have been having trouble finding um, good jalapenos up here right now. They're just kind of in between seasons in this area. And so they've been hard and we eat a lot of jalapenos. So I thought I would grab those. So here are some items that are not fresh eating. We'll move on to them. Okay, another first, and we opened it last night and we're trying them, is these dried bananas. These are not banana chips. They smell amazing. They are odd. Um, 
in my opinion, this is the second time I've done this. We got some dried bananas from Trader Joe's, if you remember my Trader Joe's haul. And those were odd to me too. It's a texture thing and I think it's just I've never had dried bananas. But even my brother said these are gonna add an amazing banana flavor to things. But they're great, um, I think, in like a trail mix or something like that. So the jury's kind of still out on these. I'll let you know if we change our mind to a little wishy-washy and lean like heavily like, eh, we wouldn't buy those again. Or if we're gonna lean towards, yeah, absolutely, I would buy these again. However, they are good and they do taste like a banana. And if you like dried fruit and the texture of dried fruit, they're fine. Um, it's just that it's a dried fruit I've never had, I think is the thing. The other kind of items is, I have waited for this for a while. This is the 100% beef gelatin. This is for our pantry. Um, gelatin can be used. What I'm most looking forward to making with this is some elderberry gummies, things like that for cold and flu season and making our own medicinal type of gummies. Something else we tr we're trying, because I would like to kind of learn to stay away from some of the plastics and so on. So these were, this one got kind of crushed on the way here, but they're brown waxed paper bags. So these are a recyclable like lunch sandwich bag and they're a wax paper bag. So you use those in place of like a Ziploc or something like that. Moving on, we have this Pure Essential Oil. Um, this is kind of just a new spray that I wanted to try out. And this one is supposed to be Madagascar Citrus and Cinnamon. So that sounded just absolutely like it was gonna I can a little bit smell it because you can see like a little bit of it squirted out. So they packaged it real well, but I can a little bit smell it and it is gonna be a real mild but lovely scent. We have, that's spilling. Okay, good thing they kind of package these in a way to avoid this, but this is the all purpose cleaner. It is a, ah, pardon me, it is a refill for this we have come to love their cleaners, their um, laundry soaps, their bathroom cleaners, all of those things. They're either not scented at all or they're super light scented um, and they are working really, really well. So I've become really happy with Azure's cleaners. It is making life a little simpler for me of not going to the store and trying out and buying all these different cleaners. I just have a few Azure cleaners that I really, I really like. 10 out of 10, I would totally recommend these things. Now, let's get to what is left over or what we got frozen. And this is my first time ever receiving frozen items from Azure. Okay, you saw in the first part of the video that we freeze dried several of these items. The freezer is not quite finished. On the channel, I will kind of keep touching base with you on the things we're freeze drying, what's working well and what's not, and give you kind of our ideas of it. Uh, take it or leave it, no big deal. If you are interested in that, just stick around the channel. You can do that by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell. Anyway, here's the frozen items we got. Now, we only get frozen every other month, and like I said earlier, we can order Azure twice a month up here, but only every other month and one of those orders ships frozen. So I saved my dollars to try some of these items. I know that I could dice up and do the carrots myself and freeze them. I went ahead and got some organic carrots. We're gonna try freeze drying carrots. We did cranberries, raspberries, two things of the Sweet corn, sorry, we're here. Um, corn I think is gonna be good freeze dried, at least I'm hoping so. We did blackberries, hash browns. So potatoes are real weird, they say, to freeze dry. 
So I'm gonna try with these frozen ones that are already um, chopped and ready. We'll see, we'll see how that turns out. We did bananas, bananas would be really easy to get, but we do a lot of bananas and smoothies and things like that. And bananas and cream oatmeal is one of my favorite things. And so I did want to try freeze dried bananas so that we could kind of powder this up and put it in our oatmeal mixes that we make. And then some dark sweet cherries. The other two items that are in the freezer that were in this box and I wanted to try them was the multicolored carrots. And that's just for regular eating at the house. They're frozen. That would be really easy for me to pop out of the freezer, see if I like them. And the other thing was multicolored sweet potatoes that were already diced up as well. You can check out all of this, like food items and different things on Azure's website. I'll leave a link for that in the description box. The last item I got was 12 packs of tortillas. These, the rest of them, the other 11 are in the freezer. These are out for our regular use. My husband is a huge tortilla eater. He loves tortillas. And I thought instead of going to Costco, this is definitely an item that our family will use regularly. Last but not least, you always get the sales flyer. It has kind of some notes from the founder in here, a place where you could kind of make a list. It, um, I'm just breezing through it. It's telling me about some mayonnaise and some coconut water and several other things. But I did want to say if I'm how you found out about Azure, I do invite you if you're going to order it for the first time, use my link and my code in the description box. When you do that, if you were to spend $100 in your first, I think it's like three months or something. Um, don't quote me on that. But I would get $25. Well, everyone that does Azure, Azure gets a code like that. So this isn't a like a trinkle down or sales marketing or something like that. Azure is literally open to anyone who wants to order from them if they ship or deliver in your area. Now they don't, of course, go, um, I know like our friends in Canada would like it, but they don't ship there and so on. But if Azure is some place or something that ships to you, I really do recommend getting some of your groceries, your good organic things, grains and so on that you can't get otherwise in a lot of these areas, I'm able to get through Azure. So that's kind of what sold me on them in the first place was the grains were very, very limited here in Alaska. And then being able to have all of that sent organically from Azure is amazing. And then I let you know that I, as an influencer or part of their influencer program, um, it's not much, but we get about $30 a month where we are able to try different new things, which I tried out kind of that cleaner, the wax bags and some other things. It goes towards Azure products, but I do need to let you know, this is not a sponsored video, but Azure does give me $30 a month for sending people like you their direction. So with that, I hope you have a super blessed week. If you have any questions, do not hesitate. Leave that all in the comment section. And I do honestly try to get back to my comments. Anything else, I'll let you know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.